dearest ham safar walo today was a a huge challenge for me because uh, the last one week has been uh, uh, up and down for babli uh, we suddenly realized that she might have a new development of uh, a medical issue which is called diverticulosis which is actually when uh, the intestines start getting a certain amount of uh, you know deposits and uh, you know, the bile starts uh, uh, having uh, issues and they could have uh, gut problems right through their lives they have issues with their gut uh, which constantly has to be monitored by diet but um, i never realized that uh, babli could have such severe agonizing stomach pain abdominal pain at 42 so it was led to a lot of complications uh with her howling in pain and um when i showed it to the team of doctors um they actually sat down and said we need to do a ct scan now the ct scan that i took her for today uh had to do both with the normal and the contrast when you do the contrast you have to inject them with the dye and uh trying to get their veins itself is quite a a difficult task mm, did it today and it took over 2 hours and she had to be on an empty stomach from 7 in the morning uh which for bubbly is quite difficult um and while she was lying on the table she kept saying she's hungry and but she coped up with it beautifully and um yes uh, i was more anxious than she was and uh, the report came out saying that um, it, there was a predisposition to uh, diverticulosis not actually diverticulosis so uh, you know i think i think all of you should constantly monitor your children what do they eat is there a lot of junk food is there a lot of gluten in their food is there a lot of um you know a uh, deposits of things that we don't need in our diet uh, can we keep them more on a rice based um, um low fat food uh, and uh, try removing things like pastas pizzas which they love and um, garlic bread which bubbly loves so i'm trying to see how we can reverse the entire um, you know medical uh, uh impossibilities or difficulties that we might face in our um, lives because one thing let me tell you my dear friends please look after yourselves our children having health issues is one thing but we have to be strong enough when you're 70 75 or 80 to be able to handle this because if you succumb or you are not ready and you can have major issues please listen to me as much as their health is important your health your diet is equally important exercise every day eat the right food eat healthy food and keep your mind absolutely positive the end of my um, you know assumption or um, advice to all of you is we need them healthy but we need to be healthier let's make a promise to ourselves that we will be there to support them and be there till the end because they need us they really need us and they need us healthy and positive so let's work together aim to keep our children healthy and promise to keep ourselves healthier bye